Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my top 5 favorite K-dramas. Just in case you guys do not know what a Korean drama is, it's basically like an American TV show or a, like a TV series that do not have a lot of season to it. Um, Sometimes they do get picked up for a second season, but that's really rare. The first drama I want to talk about is a drama called Winter Love Story. It was made in 2002. And just to let you guys know, I'm not going to try to pronounce any of these names because I will totally, you know, destroy the names. I will just leave them with pictures just like now. And these are the actor and actresses that was part of the Winter Love Stories drama. So this story is basically about uh, the main lead, which is this guy right here. This guy right here. He, uh was involved in an accident so he lost all his memory and he couldn't remember the girl that he loved which is this one right here and you know they is this a, just how he discovered and rem rememberized his memory and how they fun, fall in love again and that is basically what the story is mostly about i can say that this drama here is uh really heavy-hearted uh, and also uh, it's really quite sad so it might make you cry but it's a really nice and love warming kind of drama if you like those kind of drama which is really romantic and love hearting uh, dramas and these this drama is really really good for that and that is basically why I kind of like this drama just the fact that it's a quite old like i said it was made in 2002 so i would really recommend for you guys to watch this drama the next drama was made in 2010 it's called my girlfriend is a gumio or my girlfriend is a nine tail fox and it stars lee sunji and shin mina these are the two really big stars uh during that time really really love this story because this story was a modern twist between the myth of the nine-tailed fox. If you guys do not know about the Korean myth of the nine-tailed fox, it's basically like the nine-tailed fox is like a woman that is a fox that have nine tails. Uh, they say that she wants to eat, you know, men's liver. That's why she seduced them in order to eat their liver, and that is how you know she. She killed the guys back then, and it was a historical myth. But in this story here, it's a modern twist to it. Uh, it's saying that the nine-tailed fox, they do not eat liver. All they want, or, or all the gumio wants, is just a nice love story, a nice guy who he she can love with. I can say that this story is really sweet, really funny really cute it's more of it's more of this really cute and funny like comedy like romantic drama so if you guys don't like the whole heart reaching kind of drama this one is really lighthearted and it is really funny so you can enjoy this drama without crying out any tears there are like few sad moments to it but it's not too sad that it requires you to cry so it's okay the next drama I'm going to introduce to you guys is called Chum Dan Dong Alice. It was made in 2012. Ha Seng Yo, she is a woman that works really hard for everything. She, f Her family is quite poor, but you know, she tries her hardest to do whatever she can, but at ends meet, nothing that she does works. So she have help from one of her uh, previous high school friend, which, you know, she, she happens to get rich or she kind she just you could say that she say she did business with a man in order to get where she is now which is she is rich she gets everything that she wants she lives in a nice house you know everything that you expect for a rich woman to have and that's what she have but on the outside, yes, it does look like that, but the inside, no. You just have to watch the drama to know, but on the Chan Sun Ju side, the guy side, he is really rich, but he has some problem with his father. That's why they kind of got separated, but in the end, they did get it. 
the father and son relationship did get back together, but it's quite a process. But Chas and Jung, he's a rich guy. He is like a chairman of Optimists, which is like a brand name bag. So that's how they pretty much met. And this drama is about the white rabbit. If you guys, if you know the Alice in the Wonderland, it's kind of some, that's why they have the name called Chang Dandong Alice because it's about their white rabbit and how they explain how the white rabbits are the one that help you enter into the, as an Alice in the Wonderland, the white rabbit helped Alice get in the Wonderland world and they need to find a guy which they call the white rabbit to let them enter to Cham Tan Dong which is like a really nice rich neighborhood where everybody wants to go live in and I can say that this story is quite sad but not too sad that it will make you cry but it is heart wrenching and it's just one of those drama that it's like a real life kind of drama. Just the fact that they explain that Ha Se Young, she's this woman who is so hardworking, but in the end, she changed to this woman that, you know, she used her hardworking passion to for something else. And you just need to watch the drama here to know exactly what I'm saying. But if you guys already watched the dramas or any of the dramas that I mentioned, go ahead and comment down below what you like about the dramas and what you guys don't like about the drama. I would love to hear your comments. The next drama I want to talk here is called Queen In Hong. It was made in 2012. This drama here, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't too big. It was just one of those normal drama out there that it wasn't too big. All these dramas that I talk about, there are, there was a big rave about it, but this drama was just one in particular that I did not find there was quite a big rave about it, but it's still a good drama. This drama, it's really cute. It was, a, it's a really cute drama to watch. Really lovely. Uh, not quite sad. It's just a really nice light uh, drama to watch. And the last K drama I want to talk about is called My Love from Another Star. It was made in 2013. And this drama here has such a big rave in Korea. It was just one of those all time favorite for everybody. If you guys have not watched it yet, I would rec highly recommend to watch this drama. If you guys have not watched any of the drama I said before, just watch this one drama and then you would totally be addicted to Korean drama and promise that everybody loved this drama so much so I'm pretty sure that you will love this drama as well. So this guy Domi Jun here he is from a different planet and he fell into the modern world here because I think they were researching the modern world or something like that but he gets lost with his team and he ended up just staying in the modern world for like 500 plus years. And Domi Jun just happened to meet Chong So Yi when she was still a little girl, and that was how they kind of met. But you know, apparently it seems like Domi Jun always seemed to save Chong So Yi in some way, in some form. But it always happened that she dies, or you know, she basically passed away, and you know, she basically re reincarnate herself and Domi Jun always seemed to save her you know all the time because he keeps having this reoccurring moment with her so you know they met and Domi Jun obviously you know fell in love with her they like each other but there's this slight problem that they had is because the fact that if you remember Domi Jun is from an alien planet he does not live in this planet in the modern world planet whatsoever so it, they say that his body was or her himself and his body cannot withstand the modern world for that much more longer so he has to go back to his alien planet or he will die and that's pretty much where the tension come from and I will just stop it at that because I want you guys to watch this drama for yourself to see if he passed away or he kept loving or you know something else happened <laughs> So I'm just going to stop it at that. I hope you guys enjoy my top 5 K-dramas. And comment down below what is your top 5 K-dramas of all time favorites. And I will definitely, you know, watch any of them.
if I have not watched it already or you can comment down below like I said that if you've seen any of the dramas that I mentioned go ahead and comment down below why you like them why you don't like them or just any of the moments that you feel that you just need to talk about like you could comment about anything basically or you can comment down what next video I should be doing. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys will subscribe, like this video, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.